Welcome to Wear Late Tips and Tutorials. My name is Alex Hughes and today we're going through the real basics of working with lasers in L8 CE2 and above. Let's begin. So I've got a couple of lasers here. I've color coded them just for the fun of it. Uh, basically how we bring lasers in is we go browse when we're in DMX setup and we go fixed and then all we have to do is search for laser and then we can bring in pretty much any laser we want. Uh, so we've got a bunch of uh, Cavant lasers here and we're just going to run through what we can do with them. So under the laser menu that we've got when we select lasers, which we can see here, we can see that we've got four, six different options of control. We've got Pangolin. So if you've got the Pangolin software and you're running beyond, I believe, advanced and above, you need the visualization driver enabled. You can use Pangolin, LaserGraph DSP, Laser Radar 4, Microsoft Connect, and Laser to LC, which are two protocols I admit that I am not familiar with. And then we've got some built-in presets. And the built-in presets basically allow you to, once set up, run, you know, a single look. So we've got five of these little Cavant looking lasers and if I bring their intensity up and we spin around we can see that we've got five different patterns loaded into them and we can DMX control these so they're RGB lasers but we can get some you know fairly decent static looks out of them and we can you know modify the uh, the zoom range a bit but I guess anytime you want to deal with lasers, you don't want to deal with something that this that is this static. So if you go into the install folder of your L8 uh, program, you're going to find something that needs to be installed called LPV Player. Now, once you install LPV Player, you'll get an application that looks like this. And if we run it through, basically we get a nice little laser show, which looks cool. Right, well, now we need to be able to map that. So to do that, in the LPV software, we go to Menu, and we go to Special and Visualization, and we make sure that we enable Visualization and we enable it for Light Converse. So we can see that we can do it for other platforms, but we're, uh, we're concerned about Light Converse for now. We can also choose which lasers go where. So currently I'm just patching one to four because that's all that's programmed into this show, and it's a three-channel show. And we can also load files. So I uh, downloaded off the LaserGraph website uh, an updated show, but there's already one inbuilt that will get you up and going. Once you've done that, you can come across into L8 again, and we'll select our three lasers that we've got across the bottom here, the silver ones, and we just need to set them to LaserGraph DSP. So we can see that I've got them ID'd here, and then once that's done, we'll grab them and we'll make sure that their intensity is up and that we've uh, set all the colors so we're not bypassing anything. And we've got the zoom set to, uh, you know, about 50. Then if we open up the software again, let me just park this over here and we press play. We can see that we get a preview of the laser show there and also in our light. So if we come back and we drop the house lights a bit. We get a much more active looking laser show now. And if I quickly jump out for a sec, we'll uh, we'll get a good example of what that looks like. And we can change the way that the beams are rendered and stuff. We can drop the haze and the smoke. And we're still obviously over the top of these, despite these being technically RGB lasers, we could DMX control this like a normal fixture and filter down colors if we wanted to. But most of the time, you're just going to leave it to the uh, program to control. And we can also tweak the zoom and stuff. But that's uh, really simple getting up and running with lasers. Uh, hopefully that's helpful to some people. Thanks for watching.